Feather, written by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Freya Blackwood. In the darkness of day, the feather falls. It used to be part of a wing that was serene and joyous. Now it is unmourned. It sinks to the ground, flatters, lies still. Maria and Nico drop their soap and washboard. They sidle across the yard to inspect it. It's soft and silky, Nico says. It reminds Maria of olden day pictures of how the sky once looked. It makes her think of the smell of rain on earth, of the wind blowing in from the sea. Let's take it inside, Nico says, to brighten up the house. It doesn't belong between walls, says Maria. We can't leave it here, says Nico. It will get dirty. We'll take it to the village. The feather is light as Thistletown. They carry it out of the yard through the woods, past the Tumbletown church, along the road to the village. They lay it down in village square. The feather trembles as if it's a living thing. People gather around. It's like a piece of the sky, says one. It's like opening the curtains to let the light in, says another. Do you remember that? Remember when cloud shadows raced across the fields and the sky was such a brilliant blue? It hurt your eyes. We must preserve this treasure behind glass, says a doctor. We should display it in the museum, says a lawyer. We should keep it in the bank vault, decides the mayor. Maria can't bear to think of the feather trapped in darkness. You must try to fly away, she whispers. Otherwise, you will never again feel the sun and the wind and the rain. And the feather stirs as if it's taken a breath or trying to catch the breeze, but it's too late. Dozens of eager hands reach for it. Wait, someone cries, look! A muddy stain creeps along the feather, discouraging it, little by little, until from the tip to the base, it's a dull and dingy. People back away, stepping in, on each other's feet. What sort of trick is this? The mayor growls. Everyone scrowls at Nico and Maria. The mayor nudges the feather with his toe. You children brought this hideous object here, he says, so now you can get rid of it. Maria and Nico struggle to lift the feather. They drag it away out of the village, along the road, through the woods, back to the yard. Will it ever be blue and white again? Nico wonders. Perhaps when it's safe, says Maria. That night, as always, there is no moon, no stars. Nico and Maria snuggle against the feather, keeping each other warm. I dreamed I was flying, Nico says in the morning. I had the same dream, says Maria. The feather is clean again, says Nico. I wonder if it is light enough to fly, says Maria. They carry the feather through the woods, across the fields and up a scrubby hill to the cliff top above the sea. They hold the feather over the edge and let it go. At first it plummets, then straightens, wobbles, dips, soars, up, up, up. A streak of blue and white just as long ago from the sky.
the end, boys and girls, and that is The Feather, written by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Freya Blackwood.